Hello, my beautiful Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be your general reading for September 2020. Capricorn, if you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, you can click on my website below or through my Etsy link. Uh, you'll see the options there. You can click on the book a reading tab on my website. You can check out my bracelets. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, thank you so much for my new subscribers, for all the likes and comments and shares. Truly, truly appreciate my Capricorns. Capricorn, I feel like you're going through a little bit of a um, closing out karmic cycles, whether that's in relationships, whether that's with career, um, with other people, friends. It feels very relational energy, right? Re how you relate to others. So that could be within the family, within your job, within your home, within your community. There's a lot of karmic wrap ups, right? Your ruling planet, Saturn, is, yeah, you know, um, having to go through a lot of difficult transits with Mars, with Venus, with Mercury, with all these different planets that are being shaken up, whether that's in your relationships, whether that's in your energy levels, because Mars rules energy, rules sexual drive as well. So, that's what I'm feeling from the start here. Okay, yeah, wrapping up, because I am, I do see this card uh, at the bottom of my deck here, and I did shuffle it. And then we got the coffin. So, something definitely has ended here. This is Scorpio energy, I feel like, for a lot of people. This is putting something to bed, maybe finalizing your divorce papers, uh, ending a contract, a literal contract, job contract, uh, selling a home, you know, we're putting something to bed, something's ended, something now is done. Once you do that, look at this, unexpected income. So this could be an unexpected job offer. This can be a, a, just a windfall of, of money that comes from the government or from a family member. For it's support, it feels like support. Someone supporting you here. Great fortune, my God! You have luck on your side here. If you are worried about finances, it feels like you need to wrap something up first in order for this windfall to come in. Interesting. Occupation. Might be a new job. Again, you might be dealing with someone who is carrying these energies, right? So take the messages as you as they resonate with you. Could be you could be the cross watcher, Capricorn, right? Occupation is someone who is working. For some of you it's a new job. New job offer. Hmm, interesting. Now we have a mature man here. The mature man is someone who is experienced in life. It's like the emperor in the tarot, right? Who's in charge. Can be a boss, can be a father, grandfather, older male, but experienced, seasoned. Okay. Marriage. Interesting. Some of you, this might be a lawyer as well, judge. Someone you, some of, ugh, some of you might meet someone work, while working. This can be someone like a boss or just someone who's older and more experienced, who was married. Mm-hmm. Some of you might have a choice, the choice between this fellow, which is the wealthy man in this deck, because there's a pathway. For the pathway to come, it means like there's, there's, you're at a crossroads. Yeah, this definitely has to do with a relationship unfolding here with the lover's card. Some of you might have had to really work hard at your marriage or relationship with this mature man. 
someone hasn't been re hasn't been revealed yet is what I'm getting with the false person but also be careful this can also be you right you not revealing your true intentions or your feelings someone not, might not be what they seem you know looks can be deceiving so be careful when you're meeting someone here who is a little bit more on the wealthy side looks can be deceiving here be careful not all that glitters is gold capricorn someone might be wearing a mask and not presenting their full truth okay let's get yeah <sighs> Someone here might have high expectations. It feels like it's you. Capricorn is an energy that has high expectations. Of, you know, they reach for the stars. They are very goal-oriented. You had high expectations for this wealthy man, maybe, but turned out to be a liar, a cheater, we, you know, with the false mask card, false person card. That's led to change. Maybe you had to move. You're expecting change, you're expecting a move, relocating. Maybe you're waiting on legal contracts to be finalized here with the adjudication card, a court courthouse card, sorry. Waiting on, yeah, official person. Lovers, ooh, that flew right out. This is a this feels very Gemini energy because it is under the pathway with change being there. It feels like there's a change in the wind here for for your relationship. We're going to read it from the book, number 15. It's what everyone hoped for in the 19th century, the good match. Romantic love, profound friendship, loyalty, trust are all presented in this card, but with the false person card, examine the situation carefully for manipulation, cheaters, gold diggers, con artists, and deceit. And we did see that, right? It did present itself with the wealthy man. Okay, so be careful. They might have, ha they might have um, made empty promises. This is what I'm getting. Uh, so yeah, a lot of deceit around this person, whoever it is. You can find love and faithfulness now. Let yourself be guided by your feeling and intuition. This card is primarily an indication of love or falling in love. In professional terms, it may show up at a workplace, love affair. That's what I was feeling for some of you. Perhaps it means that, that you love your work and that your heart and mind are in harmony. This card indicates love or friendship with a nearby person card. Excellent as long as it is in your eight, which we got, which points to obstacles and dishonesty. Okay, so some of you have not been lucky when it comes to this specific person. Could be another Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It, they're all about money and power, and maybe they might have offered something to you, but came, came short, right? Empty-handed. Okay. Yeah, this someone high honor speaks of someone who is maybe tall or who's just, who just has a has a really has a reputation, right? People all eyes all the eyes on are on this person. They're really well known. High honor. They people are people honor them. Again, they're probably a boss or in charge of a business. Have a lot of money. Okay, I'm not feeling those cards, spirit. So let's get another spread out here. So there was change here, right? You had to make a decision. You were forced maybe even to leave a job or a work environment. Winds of change. Conclusion, yeah. <laughs> Looking at that coffin card because that's what they're... Pointing me towards conclusion. You have to leave something behind. You have to put things, you have to end things. Whether that's verbally, in written, some of you might have had to move, 
change location, change job location, change everything. Movement, there's movement. Fall, okay. So the fall is going to be significant for some of you, which we're about to in the Northern Hemisphere, of course. Fall is happening in September, October, November-ish. Inner child, look at you walking towards that sun, the sunrise or the sunset. And Is it the sunset or the sunrise? I guess that's up to you to decide. It's a cycle. Whenever the sun sets, it will rise again. The inner child speaks of you having to heal the wounds because the fall feels dark, wounds, shadows. The inner child wants to be seen, wants to be heard, wants to be healed. So whatever it is that you went through as a child is probably coming up in your relationships as patterns. Twin flame, my goodness, recognition, communication, settling. Crossroads again. Fear, healing, okay. Cycles, you see there's, there's, this is you having to reach the end of a cycle. Didn't I talk about karmic situations having to be wrapped up? Well, this is what it is. Karmic wrap ups. Now, twin flame, again, I don't like the, the labels. Okay, because the twin flame connection is a very complex one and it's i feel like it's changed over time just because our the earth's frequency has changed and because we're moving towards a 5d frequency where we're trying to align with our higher self and our higher the higher dimensional beings the twin flame connection needs to be one that is of, of a higher vibrational match And the twin flame connection is about two people coming together at the same vibration, but also they have a mission in this world, okay? Their mission is to make a difference in some type of way. So if you're not just coming together in a romantic way and just letting go of all the inner work, you're actually having to put a lot of work into the relationship. The twin flame connection is a very difficult one because take, it takes a lot of inner work on both parts. That's why you need to be on the same vibration. Now, it feels like someone either regrets losing you. Someone came to some sort of realization, communication here, but it's close to the settling card. Again, I feel like you were deceived. You see, there was a soul recognition at the beginning, right? We're on the same vibrational frequency. But then all of a sudden, there's this. So it, it tells me that this connection took, took, took a left turn. Like, we were not on the same page. Somebody must have felt like they were settling and this is why they we see the change card right she or he was expecting to settle down right the marriage card came up however something shifted and now we're having to deal with making a decision we're at a crossroads again Should I go left? Should I go right? Someone needs to communicate this though. Someone needs to be open. Open with the third chakra, the throat chakra. Being honest with ourselves. So you see, we don't know who wasn't being honest. It could be both parties. Who's not being honest with themselves? Now, balancing of the scales, that feels legal. 
divorce papers, you know, again, finalizing contracts, closing a contract, ending a contract. But again, it's we're dealing with the scales, which is karmic. So lessons that you've signed up for are now completed. The lessons are completed because you've now made a decision. After being at this crossroads, a decision needs to be made. So a lot of you are still in fear, I, I think, here. Fear. There's a lot of healing that's coming up when this fear comes up. But it's all part of the divine plan. It's all part of your karmic contracts. You manifesting and attracting karmic people was part of your soul's evolution. And sometimes we have to learn the hard way. Ascending, yeah, learning the hard way. Look at that. You're really, really, really following the yellow brick road. You're really following your highest self here. You're, you're trying to overcome that fear by healing, healing that inner child. Divine masculine, maybe this is you healing the divine masculine within yourself because we all have feminine and masculine energies. But yeah, the divine masculine needs to be released. And probably this is where your nostalgia is coming from. He needed to be released. Or he needed to release you. Take it as it resonates. But it feels like someone's holding on still. They're afraid of this cycle to end. Because it obviously came to an end. We see that in many different cards here. Interesting. Okay, let's get some numology. Oh my goodness, that one flew. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. That's you. Of course, we see that. There's an ascension. You're moving in frequency. You're moving up in frequency, meaning you're now more in tune with your true self. You're being honest with yourself. You're setting the proper boundaries. You're ending those karmic cycles of accepting you know crumbs and people and experiences don't that don't allow you to grow a new romantic cycle begins take time to breathe again we see the scales as soon as you close out this karmic cycle a new one will begin but you need to close it out okay we have karmic this is karma whatever karmic debts you needed to pay Meaning you needed to learn the lesson. It is now over. Your work has been paid. Your work is paying off. That's what it's saying, right? So the karmic scales, your karmic debts have been paid. Your lessons have been learned. Okay? Take a time to breathe out. You've been through a lot, Capricorn. We see that. Take the time to breathe out. Breathe out. I know the energies are really intense, especially for you. <sighs> okay, yeah, uh, breathe out. <laughs> Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. How can you be more present? Being more present aligns us with what is meant for us. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So again, we are healing family issues by ending these karmic contracts that we have with people in our relationships. Yeah, some of you might have been married to this person. There's some type of contract here with the engagement. You see how there's... There was a commitment here that you had with this person. But the karmic lesson, the karmic... It was a karmic partner, basically. It was to heal your family issues. With your own children, with their parents, your parents. Take it as it resonates. Okay, flirt. Free yourself. Yeah, they want you really to free yourself and be in a position to be more playful. Yeah, it was unrequited love for the ones who are asking. So look at this. Extend your lighthearted energy to others and free yourself. You're trapped. You were trapped, right? You were trapped in this karmic cycle. It's time to free yourself. That full moon must have been really powerful for you unrequited love you did not 
have, you did not receive what you were giving, right? There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You feel like there, there was a disconnect between you two. Not exactly a perfect vibrational match when that card comes out. Okay, let's get some angel answers. What advice or messages do you have? Other messages do you have? Again, with those scales of justice, jeez. Karmic <laughs> lessons are learned, okay? Compromise, again, there's three cards with the karmic scales of justice here. Where's the other one? Here we go. Basically, you reap what you sow, right? And I think that's what you're going to get at the end of the day. This is what you're going to receive blessings from all of this. It's a lot of karma, or for some of you, a lot of legal battles. And you're probably worn out, right? You're worn out, you're tired, you're maybe even feeling sick for some of you, but you're healing. You're in a period of recovery. And we see that. And it's all about you overcoming these fears of letting go of the past, right? Nostalgia. All right, guys, I hope these messages were helpful. Please let me know if you need a personal reading by clicking on my link below through my website. Um, I am wishing you guys the best of the best for the month of September. Please do hang in there and I'll see you on the next one. Please take care.